In mathematics, a symplectic manifold is a smooth manifold M, equipped with a closed non-degenerate differential two form, omega, called the symplectic form. The study of symplectic manifolds is called symplectic geometry or symplectic topology. Symplectic manifolds arise naturally in abstract formulations of classical mechanics and analytical mechanics as the cotangent bundles of manifolds. For example, in the Hamiltonian formulation of classical mechanics, which provides one of the major motivations for the field, the set of all possible configurations of a system is modeled as a manifold, and this manifold's cotangent bundle describes the phase space of the system. Any real value differentiable function H on a symplectic manifold can serve as an energy function or Hamiltonian. Associated to any Hamiltonian is a Hamiltonian vector field. The integral curves of the Hamiltonian vector field are solutions to Hamilton's equations. The Hamiltonian vector field defines a flow on the symplectic manifold, called a Hamiltonian flow or symplectomorphism. By Liouville's theorem, Hamiltonian flows preserve the volume form on the phase space. Motivation Symplectic manifolds arise from classical mechanics, in particular, they are a generalization of the phase space of a closed system. In the same way the Hamilton equations allow one to derive the time evolution of a system from a set of differential equations, the symplectic form should allow one to obtain the vector field describing the flow of the system from the differential dh of the Hamiltonian function h. As Newton's laws of motion are linear differential equations, such a map should be linear as well. So we require a linear map trademark T asterisk M, or equivalently, an element of T asterisk M T asterisk M, letting omega denote a section of T asterisk M T asterisk M. The requirement that omega be non-degenerate ensures that for every differential dh there is a unique corresponding vector field vh such that dh equals omega. Since one desires the Hamiltonian to be constant along flow lines, one should have dh equals omega equals zero, which implies that omega is alternating and hence a two-form. Finally, one makes the requirement that omega should not change under flow lines, i.e., that the Lie derivative of omega along vh vanishes. Applying Cartan's formula, this amounts to which is equivalent to the requirement that omega should be closed. Definition A symplectic form on a manifold M is a closed non-degenerate differential to form omega. Here, non-degenerate means that for all pm, if there exists an x tpm such that omega equals zero for all y tpm, then x equals zero. The skew-symmetric condition means that for all pm we have omega equals minus omega for all x, y tpm. In odd dimensions, anti-symmetric matrices are not invertible. Since omega is a differential two form, the skew-symmetric condition implies that M has even dimension. The closed condition means that the exterior derivative of omega vanishes, d omega equals zero. A symplectic manifold consists of a pair of a manifold M and a symplectic form omega. Assigning a symplectic form omega to a manifold M is referred to as giving M a symplectic structure. Linear symplectic manifold there is a standard linear model, namely a symplectic vector space R2n. Let R2n have the basis V1, V2n. Then we define our symplectic form omega so that for all 1in we have omega equals 1, omega equals minus 1, and omega is 0 for all other pairs of basis vectors. In this case the symplectic form reduces to a simple quadratic form. If n denotes the n times n identity matrix then the matrix omega of this quadratic form is given by the block matrix, Lagrangian and other submanifolds.
There are several natural geometric notions of submanifold of a symplectic manifold. Symplectic submanifolds are submanifolds where the symplectic form is required to induce a symplectic form on them. Isotropic submanifolds are submanifolds where the symplectic form restricts to zero, i.e., each tangent space is an isotropic subspace of the ambient manifold's tangent space. Similarly, if each tangent subspace to a submanifold is coisotropic, the submanifold is called coisotropic. Lagrangian submanifolds of an symplectic manifold are submanifolds where the restriction of the symplectic form to is vanishing, i.e., and Langrangian submanifolds are the maximal isotropic submanifolds. The most important case of the isotropic submanifolds is that of Lagrangian submanifolds. A Lagrangian submanifold is, by definition, an isotropic submanifold of maximal dimension, namely half the dimension of the ambient symplectic manifold. One major example is that the graph of a symplectomorphism in the product symplectic manifold is Lagrangian. Their intersections display rigidity properties not possessed by smooth manifolds. The Arnold conjecture gives the sum of the sub-manifolds Betty. Numbers is a lower bound for the number of self-intersections of a smooth Lagrangian sub-manifold, rather than the Euler characteristic in the smooth case. See also, symplectic category special Lagrangian submanifolds In the case of Kala manifolds we can make a choice on as a holomorphic N form, where is the real part an imaginary, and Lagrangian submanifold is called special if in addition to the above Lagrangian condition the restriction to is vanishing. In other words, the real part restricted on leads the volume form on. The following examples are known as special Lagrangian submanifolds. Complex Lagrangian submanifolds of hypercalor manifolds. Fixed points of a real structure of Calabio manifolds. The SYZ conjecture has been proved for special Lagrangian submanifolds, but in general, it is open and brings a lot of impacts to the study of mirror symmetry. See Lagrangian fibration. A Lagrangian fibration of a symplectic manifold M is a fibration where all of the fibers are Lagrangian submanifolds. Since M is even dimensional we can take local coordinates, and by Darbo's theorem the symplectic form omega can be, at least locally, written as omega equals dpk dqk, where d denotes the exterior derivative and denotes the exterior product. Using this setup we can locally think of M as being the cotangent bundle T asterisk Rn, and the Lagrangian vibration as the trivial vibration pi T asterisk Rn Rn. This is the canonical picture, Lagrangian mapping. Let L be a Lagrangian submanifold of a symplectic manifold given by an immersion I. LK, let pi, K B give a Lagrangian vibration of K, the composite. LKB is a Lagrangian mapping. The critical value set of pi I is called a caustic. Two Lagrangian maps. L1 K1 B1 and L2 K2 B2 are called Lagrangian equivalent if there exist diffeomorphisms sigma, tau and nu such that both sides of the diagram given on the right commute and tau preserves the symplectic form, symbolically, where tau asterisk omega 2 denotes the pullback of omega 2 by tau, special cases and generalizations. A symplectic manifold endowed with a metric that is compatible with the symplectic form is an almost Kala manifold in the sense that the tangent bundle has an almost complex structure, but this need not be integrable. Symplectic manifolds are special cases of a Poisson manifold. The definition of a symplectic manifold requires that the symplectic form be non-degenerate everywhere, but if this condition is violated, the manifold may still be a Poisson manifold. A multi-symplectic manifold of degree k is a manifold equipped with a closed non-degenerate k form. A polysymplectic manifold is a legendary bundle provided with a polysymplectic tangent-valued form. It is utilized in Hamiltonian field theory.